Hello guys, you are seeing back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will show you that what is the difference between a normal sketch and a position sketch. So let's get started. So first of all, as we all know that we have two different kind of sketches either in generative shape design or positions or part design or any other feature. So one is going to be a simple sketch and the other one is position sketch. So let's see what exactly the difference between these two is and also when, which and why should we use one or the other and which one is better, position sketch or not a normal sketch or there is a difference between when should we use one or the other one. So let's see. So first of all I would like to start with simple sketch. Simple sketch is a great tool to use if you ha have a predefined path to work on. So let's say if I know for sure that I'm going to use a certain plane and then I simply click on sketch. If I know for, for a fact that I'm never going to use any other plane with respect to whatever sketch I'm going to draw. So let's say if I'm going to make a spline that goes from anywhere randomly all the way till here and I exit out. If I exit out of the sketch, right now I have a a spline that have a specific origin and a specific plane that I drew it on. So now even if I want to move it or change it, I won't be able to because the, the plane is with respect to the axis system which is the pre, which is predefined and I cannot change it. Similarly, the origin point starts from the plane itself. Even if I go back inside the sketch, you can see the horizontal and the vertical components, they are predefined as well. I didn't need to define them that where the location of this thing should be. It automatically picked it up. What's this? So this is defined. This is a normal sketch. So what's the difference between this and the position sketch? When I click on position sketch, first of all, you can see that it says that I need a planar support. So it's asking for type. I'm saying that, okay, I just need a position sketch and it's asking for a reference. So reference is basically going to be a plane on which we, we plan to design. So let's say I'm going to design on the same plane. So it's asking me that what and where the origin should be. So if I say that projection point is going to be origin. So for the same, I'm going to make a point on the same plane. So I'm saying that, okay, this is the plane and somewhere here is the point where I would like to have a particular sketch designed on. So I will click on position sketch, sketch the plane on which this point is already lying on. And instead of implicit, I will go to projection point, click on it and click on this particular point. And you can see that a similar kind of axis system, vertical and horizontal component appears right there. When I click OK, it will automatically take me into the plane itself within the sketch. So now if I make a spline similar to what I made initially, so now you can see that it's kind of fascinating that both of them are doing the same purpose. The only difference is going to be that one of them cannot be moved but whereas if I move the other one, so let's say if I have this particular point, now I can move this point anywhere where I want to. So now let's say if I want to move this point somewhere in the space that is around here. So I am indirectly controlling where I want the sketch to be. So this feature is very useful when you're working with designing a specific product, which is kind of an assembly which you might need to change and play with different kind of surfaces as per one's requirement. So me personally, I have done my aerospace engineering. So because of that, I find it very useful to use this kind of sketches because if ever needed, I was able to modify and speculate accordingly. And it was relatively very easy. Whereas in a normal sketch, if I would use a normal sketch, it's going to be, I'm my degree of freedom is going to be restricted because of the fact that I don't have the access to change the origin whenever I would want. Whereas in this one, I just can easily double click on the point and simply drag 
the point and just click anywhere and you can see my sketch is going along with it. So it kind of becomes a power copy instead of you being specifying that okay it, it is just limited to one place or position. So that's the main difference between a normal sketch and a position sketch. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel for similar kind of videos. Take it easy and bye.